suicidal subject at the Wellington Pond in Wellington. Mel's subject, RP's advising he stabbed himself in the neck with a utility knife. He's trying to leave on foot. Break. Survivor at all, I think I'll be in contact just by the sewage plant. Survivor, you can be in contact just by the sewage plant. Survivor, you can be in contact just by the sewage plant. Right, Survivor, he'll just be on the other side of the tracks um, from the sewage plant. Hey man, come here! Opposite side of the tracks of the sewage plant, on the other side of the fence. Hey man, what's going on? Sir! Duckworth! Hey! Hey man, talk to me! What's going on? Bryce Viver, he's got a knife in his hand, each hand. Bryce Viver, he's not listening to commands either. Hey man, talk to me. It's Officer Safely. I just saw you in court, man. Hey. Hey. Look at me, man. Officer Safely, I want to help you, man. Can you put the knives down for me? Hey, bro, look at me. You were just in court, right? Affirm, we're right next to the pond. If we can have somebody come in by the pond side, that'd be great. Hey, brother, come here, man. Come talk to me. Hey, man, put the knives down. Let's have a conversation. This doesn't have to be bad. Good. Just, just put them down, man. It ain't worth it, bro. Hey, you didn't do this at court today, what the heck, man? Then, then let's fix it. This isn't the right way, bro. This is not the right way, man. I want to help you out. This is not okay. What can't you do, man? What's going on? Will you talk to me, man? What's the plan here, man? What's the what's your end goal? I'm not gonna shoot you. If that's what you want, that's the last thing we want to do, brother. We want to help you. What's going on? Is it the court stuff? Five or eight. I'm just turning onto the pond road now. We're yet from there. I'll be straight across from the pond. There's a fence, and I've got a ditch between me and the suspect. Listen, man. Affirm, I gotta come on over the fence now. Just put the knife down, man. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. I don't wanna shoot you, but I will. Put the knife down. He's approaching, got a knife in his hand. Put it down, man. It ain't worth it. Still not listening to command, still has a knife. Put it down or I'll shoot you. Put it down. Price, five or eight, shots fired, suspect down. Five or eight, copy, shots fired, suspect down. Put the knife down, man, put it down. Put it down. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands, man. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. 
Fuck, man, show me your hands! Come on, man, show me your hands! Price five or eight, subject's down, not moving, not responding. Still has a good knife in his hand. Show me your hands, man. Come on, man, show me your hands. Show me your hands, man. Come on the other road. He's got a knife in his hand, I still can't. He's not re responding. Fuck. What did they say his name was? Duckworth, I don't remember his first name. He was just in court. I got lethal. Bobby. He's getting the knife was in his right hand. Bobby. Bobby, man, show us your hands. Show us your hands, Bobby. Hey, firm. Bobby, show us your hands. Yeah. Bobby, show us your hands, man. Knife's in the right hand, I see it. It's underneath him now. Is there two? You can see the butt of something right there. There's a sheath on the knife in the other hand. You good? Yeah, he's out. He should be coming in this way. Price five or eight. Well, you have medical come in on the road that goes to the uh, the plant out here. Yeah, we don't need any medical. Five or eight. Can we have medical come in on the road that goes to the plant? All right. Fuck. So the officer is dispatched to a man with a knife at the public pond, the public access fishing pond here in Wellington City. He begins to respond. During his response, the updated information is the subject has a knife and is acting uh, peculiar or irrational. The officer understands the layout and the information is that now the person is walking from the pond towards the railroad tracks. The officer takes Railroad Avenue to come down in an effort to intervene with his course of travel. He gets out of the car, walks up on the railroad tracks. That's where he first engages the subject verbally. The subject is across this wash, across that fence, in that field, and he's facing west, and the officer's approaching from the east, and the officer is immediately identifying himself as a peace officer. He's in a uniform, identifying him as a peace officer, and he starts trying to verbally engage the subject in a dialogue in an effort to de-escalate the situation. He makes 42 verbal attempts to de-escalate the situation and to disarm. Offers help, uh, no, no response, and, and that, that dialogue goes on for a little over two and a half minutes. Hey brother, come here man, come talk to me. Hey 
Hey man, put the knives down and let's have a conversation. This doesn't have to be bad. Good. Just, just put them down, man. It ain't worth it, bro. During that time, the subject does turn and face the officer and displays that he has a weapon. They have a very brief communication with each other where a few, a few very short words are spoken and then the subject starts walking towards the officer. During this two and a half minute dialogue, the officer positions himself in this area so he has just a more eye-to-eye -eye type contact, kind of at the same level type interaction with the subject, easier to hear. The subject turns, faces the officer, displays the weapons. The officer is repeatedly giving commands to disarm himself. The subject climbs the fence, pushes his way through the bush. At that time, the subject is not responding to the officer's lawful commands to stop advancing and to drop the weapon. At that time, the officer drew his duty weapon and held it at the low ready position, continuing to offer legal commands. Now, the officer is forced to walk in backwards manner, as not to turn his back on the imminent threat. He has to get himself through the bob wire, and he has to walk backwards up this grade, this loose gravel grade. The entire time, the subject does not stop his advance. As a matter of fact, his momentum is building. The officer starts up the grade backwards. He stumbles, he almost falls, he corrects himself. He retreats to the top of the railroad grade to this position. At this time, he has given the subject 11 commands to disarm. He has now also given two warnings that if he doesn't stop, deadly force will be used. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. I don't want to shoot you, but I will. Put the knife down. He's approaching. He's got a knife in his hand. Put it down, man. It ain't worth it. Still not listening to command. Still has a knife. Put it down or I'll shoot you. Put it down. The subject refuses to comply. The officer, from roughly this position, fired shots, stopping the subject's advance on the lower third portion of this grade. Put it down, man. It ain't worth it. Still not listening to command, still has a knife. Put it down or I'll shoot you. Put it down. Price, five or eight, shots fired, suspect down. 